Hi, I'm Legolock, a Legacy Locked Iron Man. I'm an RS3 player locked into the Legacy Combat Mode and the Legacy Interface, which means I can't use any abilities. And yes, that includes movement abilities. I have quite big plans including, but not limited to, the Reaper Crew achievement, full best in slot gear, and even solo 100% Zamorak. I'm playing modern day RuneScape in an old school way. This will not be easy, but fortunately, I love a good challenge. I'm Legolock, and welcome to my journey. Last time on Legolocked, we completed Lunar Diplomacy, obtained the Guthic Staff from Mage Arena, and kickstarted our mid-game bossing venture. Since then, we've heavily indulged in the ability to take on Barrows and the Dagonoth Kings, and even scored ourselves a couple new upgrades. But the hunger for progress continues to grow. And what better next step than God Wars Dungeon 1? This area offers all of the tier 70 power upgrades for each combat style, while also offering some very useful component fodder for best in slot perks that we'll need in the future. Our goal is to get ourselves into God Wars Dungeon 1 and fighting Krill. Krill drops the Zamorakian Spear, which we'll need for Corporeal Beast. I could farm up enough quest points for the Vanquish, but the Zamorak Spear not only has a special attack, but also upgrades into the Chaotic Spear, which will make Corp a little bit easier once I get to that point. Let's get into it. All right, first Barrow's Chest of the Stream. Let us see what we get. Oh, actually, that's not too shabby. Oh, there he is. Good old Guthy boy. Adios, amigo. All right, doth we have any luck? No, we got a loop half. Unfortunate. I just hit a 502. What the frick? That was my first time hitting a 502. Why? That was great. All right, Toreg, my friend. Any day now. There it is. Adios, amigo. Any luck? Any luck? Last kill of the Reaper. Bolt racks. Five more bears, brothers. Let's do it. Let us do it. All right, two more kills, and then we get the second portal. Bolt racks. All right, Torag. I've already got your hammer. Now I just need your armor. Bolt racks. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, dude. Let's see. Let's see. Do we get racks? Or do we get a piece? Let's see. Oh, wait. I gotta kill Guthin first. <laughs> Hold. Hold, please. Alright, here we go. <laughs> More bolt racks, baby. You know what I used to think? Is whenever you would kill a brother and then they like turn like during their death animation. I always thought that meant that you got a drop. Like, you know when you really want something to happen in a video game? But then you like just act like you don't care or like you have your superstitions pretty much. I thought that that was like a roll on the drop table <laughs> whenever they like turned during their death animation. But nope, it is not. A 67 magic. Heck yeah, bro. All right. Good luck us. Good luck us. More bolt racks, baby. <laughs> we got a lot of blood runes that time though. That's good. All right. Any luck on the final run? Of the Reaper. Ooh, there he is. There he is, very. No, oh, don't go through the door. Don't go through the door. No, stop. The frick. Thank you. Last chest of the Reaper is... Nada, dude. But it is 52 Slayer. That is good. Water filtration system is a go. Filtrate my water. All right, let us see. Visage number five. Let us go. No oh, freaking way. You're joking, dude. <laughs> I'm the freaking Visage Collector, dude. That is me. I collect the Vissies, baby. <laughs> Look at the stack. Five vis Visai. Visages. Visage. I don't know. I decided to take a small break from Barrows and knock out a few prerequisites for entering God Wars Dungeon 1. And it turns out I only needed to knock out Death Plateau and Troll Stronghold, which were much quicker to complete than I had anticipated. At this point, I still had a bit of skills to grind, such as 70 Constitution and 60 Strength, but instead of just rushing those, I decided to work on multiple grinds at once. I was informed in our previous episode that I mixed up the relic powers of Berserker's Fury and Fury of the Small. Berserker's Fury can give up to 5.5% damage bonus depending on how much HP I'm missing. This is incredibly powerful, which means I need that Amulet of the Forsaken. I also need 200 boss KC in order to unlock the Altar of War. So let's get digging. Oh dude, no, no, no. Derek, chill. Derek, Derek. Stop. Nice. 60 defense. Oh! 
Oh, frick. Dude, yes. <laughs> War Sphere, baby. Two pieces and 25 KC. Derek, Derek, Derek. We meet again. Freaking see ya, dude. Freaking get wrecked, Derek. Hey, 70 magic, dude. My first level 70 combat stat. Oh my gosh, no freaking way. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh yes, that is like the best item I can get right now. Heck yeah, dude. So freaking good. So freaking good. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes. So to give a quick little update, I haven't really gone over my stats in a little bit, but I just wanted to talk about those real quick. So what I have right now is 62 attack. I have 70 magic, 60 prayer. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go through all of them. You can kind of see what's going on here. My invention stats are looking pretty healthy. I am pretty close to 70 smithing, and I just passed 72 mining. So that's probably going to be my first invention stat. 64 crafting, which I've just been getting up from the daily Jack of Trades aura and all of this fancy stuff. Another thing that I've been working on is fishing and cooking because I want to get this to a point where I can access the traveling merchant because I'm just thinking for the future here, I'm going to need quite a bit of death touch darts from what I understand, specifically for hard mode suck because I don't know how clearing the minions will actually go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need at least one, maybe two per pizza phase. So <laughs> I'm going to have to start saving up some GP and then also just saving up my death touch darts. So it's going to be quite a long grind. What we are currently working on now We've gotten the three barrows weapons. We're going to now work on getting Haunted Mine done. Haunted Mine is the next thing in the progress list because I wasn't originally planning on doing this, but I realized that it not only offers access to the Salve Amulet and Tarn's Lair, but it also gives 22,000 strength experience, which will be perfect at our level because we'll at least get a level and a half or two levels out of this. So that'll save us a little bit of grinding, and it'll also give us a very powerful amulet to use against the undead, which is barrows and i'm pretty sure this is barrows rise of the six i could be wrong though in the future but this will also help with slayer tasks that deal with ghosts undead or anything under that category bonuses from the base salve amulet are 15 percent accuracy and damage against undead and i can upgrade it to the enchanted version after tarn slayer for a total of 20 percent damage and accuracy that is a major buff and will make barrows so much easier specifically carol because i miss a lot with magic obviously because Carol is ranged. So maybe this will get it to where I can hit 100% of the time. And maybe at this point, I'll be doing enough damage to two hit some of the Barrows Brothers. According to the wiki, it looks like I'm all ready to go. I just need a ball of wool for the actual Sal gem. And then a bunch of food and, you know, stuff to fight the ghost at the end. I can't remember his name, but uh, yeah, let's just go knock this out, get the Salve Amulet, run Tarn's Lair, and get back to the Barrows Grind. Okay, that should be it. it says that this is the correct track. That took me so much longer than it, need to, need, than it needed to. Oh my gosh. I can't even speak proper English after that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the amount of fear I used to have going into this fight was unreal. I actually died the first time I ever did this quest when I was younger. And I lost, I think, like, I can't remember what it was. But all I kept was my rune plate, my rune legs, and I'm pretty sure a DDS or D long or something. And I lost everything else, which was a major setback. <laughs> Flooding back right now. Bro, I freaking two shot him. <laughs> that was revenge for my younger self. Just like that. Quest complete, dude. Let's see how far do we get? 56. Nice, dude. Two levels. That is some solid progress. Four more, and then we'll be able to actually access God Wars Dungeon 1, and then we just need four more levels in Constitution to fight Zami. Salve Amulet. Huge. Let's go upgrade this thing. Whoa, what? I thought I disarmed that. The frick? You're joking. What the frick? Oh, I hate this game, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> You have to disable it every freaking time? Dude, what in the frick? I just, dis I disabled it. I freaking disabled it. I don't, I don't get it. What is going on? How do you do this? Did I just get lucky? Oh, golly. This game is so rigged. 
Freaking finally, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jesus. Freaking walls, dude. I swear, if there's like another log, there better not be anything that can actually hurt me here or knock me off. I'm tired of this already. Bless. Oh, what a great cutscene. <laughs> Good transition. Well, this feels kind of cheap, but <laughs> works for me. Adios, Tarn. Perfect. Tarn's Diary. Now we have the Salve Amulet Enchanted. 20% damage and accuracy when fighting undead. This is going to make the Barrows grind a lot better feeling. As we can see, I have 184 total boss kills, so I need 200 for the Altar of War. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that at Barrows. It'd be more efficient to do this at Dagoneth Kings, but I've pretty much got everything that I need from Dagoneth Kings at the moment. I have the Berserker's Ring, Warrior's Ring, and a Dragon Hatchet. I do want to get a couple more Dragon Hatchets because I want to have one for the Affinity debuff when using melee, which is essentially kind of just the melee version of Guthic Staff. I want to get another one that I can upgrade to a Crystal Hatchet in the future, and I also want to get one that I can augment. But I can probably just use that augmented one for the Crystal Hatchet going forward. And as of the other day, we got an announcement that there's going to be a woodcutting expansion. So we might have to get another dragon hatchet, assuming that there's going to be a tier 90 variant of a hatchet, similar to the pickaxe of Earth and Song and the Matic of Space and Time. That is for another episode. Let's go ahead and get these 16 Barrows kills. Ooh, 616. Woof. That is, that is so good. What the frick? Oh my gosh, I freaking slapped him down. Oh my gosh, three hit, three hit Carol. Dude, freaking awesome. So good. I don't know why I didn't think to get this sooner. Oh no way. <laughs> Another Torax hammer, dude. What the frick? That is so sick, dude. Oh, it's a dupe, but I'll take it because now this just means I can disassemble one completely for full experience so that's good and that'll get me some undead components oh that's sick the dry streak is ending but what we really need is the amulet of forsaken because we need that for the berserker's fury relic i just did all five of the pre-tunnel brothers without a single prayer dose from just full prayer that is a major difference that saves me a lot of supplies the only time that i need to drink a prayer dose is when i'm fighting Derek in the tunnels which is Unfortunately, this one. And nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on. Two hit, two hit, two hit. Oh, that's so freaking close, dude. Nothing. The two hit dream. Ah, oh, frick, dude. We're so close. We just need it to happen once. Once. Oh, this could be it. Come on, baby. Oh, freaking. We're always just right there. Nope. Nada. The dream might be possible. Oh, potential? Oh, we were so close, dude. This has got to be it. Oh my gosh! Dude, 38 hits. Or thir Hello? 38 damage away. On the brink of it, I can just like taste the two hit. Nope. Oh, come on, baby. <sighs> Hey, 65 defense. That is a good milestone. Five more levels, and then we can equip any tier 70 either Barrow's gear or power armor that we get from God Wars Dungeon 1. Oh, it's going to be so sick, dude. Unfortunate. I'm not getting my hopes up. <sighs> See, I just don't get your expectations high <laughs> if you expect them to just not be fulfilled. <laughs> At least I'm getting bolt racks. Oh... Oh my gosh, dude. More shacks. Oh, 100 Bravers Brothers. That is good, dude. On the plus side, I'm getting a lot of runes for the Viswax machine whenever I get to that point. Oh my gosh, two hit Terry is officially here, dude. Yes. <laughs> Freaking yes, dude. Oh, that's so cool feeling. Oh my gosh, you know how long I was waiting to say to hit Terry? I've been waiting for like the past two hours. Not really two hours, but I've been waiting at least an hour. I've been wanting to say that joke for so long and I hope it delivered. Oh, no freaking way, dude. No way. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please tell me I'm recording. I am. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap. This is exactly why we were doing Barrows. Dude. Barrows is like optional now. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Major grind just essentially finished. This is just crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. We just have two more kills and then we have the altar unlocked. Dude, this amulet is so good too until we actually use it for the relic. Oh my God. Let me just see. Yeah, dude, this is better than the lunar amulet and it's hybrid and it gives a prayer bonus. <laughs> I just, oh dude, I, I, wow. Wow, dude. I have no other words. This is just incredible dude i am freaking pumped unfortunately no back to back but i honestly it's borderline illegal for me to complain at this point <laughs> the final chest before oh my gosh this is our last run was the final time we had to teleport to a lodestone to recharge prayer now we could just go right towards retreat that saves so much time oh my gosh dude that Feels so good. 200 boss kills. Let us go unlock the altar. Altar of war unlocked, baby. Recharge the prayer. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my goodness. Such a big quality of life unlock. I'm amped. <laughs> this, <laughs> this has been an insane past like 10 minutes. So just for the sake of checking the amount I've gotten from Barrows. Let's see what my KC is. 106 KC. We've got about 45 mil. That is, okay, like if this were a main account, re like regardless of how inefficient I was doing these runs, that is a lot of money. You could buy quite a bit of secondary levels like smithing, herb lore, anything like that with 45 mil. This is major. This is pretty, pretty major for a mid, like a low to mid level account. But anyways, we are done with the Barrows grind for the time being. We've got our 200 kills for the altar of war we got an aram staff which is like huge icing on the cake we have three tier 70 melee weapons and we got the amulet of the forsaken ideally i would like to go back and get a carol's crossbow set either dual wield or 2h i'm not picky on which one but um for now that is gonna have to take a back seat because we're nowhere near 70 ranged and we have bigger things to work on at the moment let's go ahead and grind out these last few strength levels these constitution levels and then we have one more grind and then it's officially on the god wars dungeon one hey 58 strength dude this is going quick 59 <laughs> in the same dungeon. That's ridiculous, dude. And I actually just can't believe I survived that. <laughs> I tanked. Like a freaking tank, dude. 67 constitution. Three more levels to go. And 60 strength, dude. That is huge. Huge, huge, huge. <laughs> nice, dude. I'm excited about that. And that's 68. The nice HP level. 70 constitution dude yes access to zamorak's fortress and god wars dungeon dude this is huge this is so huge oh my gosh we have one more thing to do before we actually go and take on zamorak and that is to get some protection from zamorak's whole entire frontier and that is going to be horror of the deep so we can get the zamorak god book and grinding out 70 constitution actually got us quite a bit of of good stats we ended up getting 68 defense 64 strength and 65 almost 66 attack just one more run and we'll get 66 which will mean that 66 attack and 64 strength will allow us access to the warrior skill warrior skill is going to offer getting the dragon defender i don't know how much i'm actually going to grind that out because i don't really know how much of a difference defenders are going to make but nonetheless it would be a slightly offensive shield swap we'll see i'll kind of think on it maybe do a little bit more research maybe i'll just grind it out for the sake of the nostalgia but um at least it gets us access to another shop that'll give us quick access to just food if we're in a pinch we have everything that we need for horror from the deep we got all of our switches <laughs> which maybe i'm over preparing for this because i don't what the frick is wrong with Valley Bank? What the? Okay, got my sword, arrow, all the rooms to put into the door, all the supplies to fix the lighthouse. Let's go knock it out. For the record, I just first tried all the basalt rocks, so if you need any tips or tricks, just let me know. You know what I just figured out I didn't do? I didn't do the bar crawl mini quest. So, oh frick, I shouldn't have gloated. <laughs> 
I guess I got to do the bar crawl mini quest, and then I will be able to actually complete this. Ah, frick. All right, we are finally done with that. <laughs> Back to the quest. Oh, that was <laughs> a lot easier <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> that is two hit Terry reporting in for Horror from the Deep. There we go. The damaged... Oh, wait. I wonder. Does this work? Well, I mean, I guess we'll have to see if this works for Zamrak protection. I'm not too sure. But uh, that is the Zamrakian book. So hopefully this works. Otherwise, if it doesn't, then... Uh, well, I'll have to figure something else out. <laughs> this is our setup. We have full Lunars with the Amulet of the Forsaken, Ceridome and Cape, the damaged book, which actually does work as Zamrak protection. So that's perfect. Aram Staff, the Guthic Staff, Swap for Accuracy, Ring of Wealth, so we can get lucky on our first drop. Runes for whatever Fire Spell we can use, uh, Fire Blast it looks like, because Fire Spells are his weakness. And we have Extra Prayer Potions, because it'll drain our prayer to zero when we jump in. And a Magic Potion for a little bit of extra accuracy and damage. Here goes nothing. We are here in the God Wars dungeon, dude. This is so cool. This is going to be something else, dude. Let's see. How much health does Krill have? 5,500. Oh, geez. Okay, that's about the amount of like all the Barrows Brothers. A little bit less than all the Barrows Brothers combined. It's just I had to deal with all those mechanics for that entire duration. But what I did find is that it doesn't matter if you use prayer or not because he's still going to do like the prayer draining attack. I don't have any uh, reason not to pray against melee or use any any form of prayer so uh could be wrong but uh we'll see we'll see how this goes oh heck yeah dude we got the war priest of zamorak cape oh that's solid that's actually freaking awesome dude i mean it feels pretty good <laughs> when i unlock invention this will be very good for zamorak components oh jeez, i'm nervous dude i'm very nervous but uh here we go All right, I mean, at least I should be able to kite him around. Oh gosh, this is gonna be rough, maybe. Oh, no! No, I was so close. Oh, my gosh. No. Frick. So, according to the wiki, it looks like not using prayer is beneficial in the form of not being attacked as often by the Yar or the prayer draining attack. I think it's still beneficial for me to actually use it and just kite Krill better and just make sure I'm healed up because Krill's max hit with that is 660 for me or 6.6k in EOC. So I'm just going to make sure I'm topped up on health. That way he doesn't nuke me. But yeah, that was unfortunate. I had like one more hit. And if I would have gotten that kill, I would have unlocked the portal to Krill. <laughs> but anyway, second time is the charm. So let's give it another shot. Round two. So far, so good. Come on. We're so close. Oh my gosh. Yes. Freaking yes, dude. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Oh, yes. That is great. I don't know how realistic this is going to be to sustain, but uh, I'm going to see if I can do a second kill this trip. Yeah, this could be tough. I, for I completely forgot about anti-poison. That will need to be fixed. All right, I'm going to have to risk it. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. I got a 25.2 second improvement. Holy crap. That's huge, dude. 
Oh, dude. Okay, but it looks like two kill trips are kind of what I'm limited to right now. Yeah, because it if I get hit by that prayer draining attack, it's pretty much game over. This is a viable option. I mean, I'm getting KC, so PB is a 137.8. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it.